Now, I think it's safe to say we're kind of in a fusion rifle meta. I mean, just this past weekend of trials, main ingredient was the number one weapon. Now, we've just seen the second nerf handed out to fusion rifles directly. One was for tap the trigger back when Witch Queen launched, primarily just to combat that of main ingredient with its tap the trigger role. The other one is firmly planted, which just got nerfed yesterday by a whopping 50%. Now, the question that this led us to, is firmly planted still a good perk? A 50% drop there in its stats is pretty ginormous. Enormous. Today though, guys, I actually wanted to show you my God Rose Snoring. This is my specific role. We used it all day yesterday after the nerf. And this role comes with Chambered Compensator, which by the way, throws up our recoil direction up to a whopping 89, which is fairly vertical enough. Liquid Coils, which is not exactly the perk I would choose for this battery mod. Firmly Planted for that increase in accuracy and stability and handling while firing while crouch. A very, very good perk on so many weapons, but especially special weapons. And Successful Warm Up, which states that each final blow increases charge in draw speed. Now, essentially, that's a 50% increase in faster charge time. Now, some things to know about Snorri. It comes with a base default of 17 zoom. This is actually ties that of main ingredients. But of course, when you compare it to other fusion rifles, like Lightly Suspect, which we talked about here recently, that sits at about 15 zoom. Where it sits, though, its zoom is pretty comparable to other precision frames. Main ingredients, plug one, etc. Now, there is a lot of stiff competition amongst fusion rifles. I mean, main ingredient is so good. Plug is also so good. And with the nerf here to Firmly Planet, that really diminished a lot of weapons that depended on Firmly Planet for that god roll. Actually, one of the traits that has elevated itself for me is Under Pressure. Under Pressure is now the go-to trait for me on Fusion Rifles. It improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower, and essentially every time you spawn, it's already procced. And you can get that on Plug 1 or Main Ingredients. However, what Snorri possesses is something these other Fusion Rifles don't, and that's actually its origin trait, which is Amelon Fluid Dynamics, which states that the weapon has increased reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine. Now that starts at 20 stability and 30 reload. And of course it scales down as the magazine empties. And you can see it there on the bottom left hand of your screen when it's procced. Honestly, just picking up any green inside of Crucible and getting that special ammo count above 50% and you'll see it procced and you'll get those stability benefits, which is really what led to this weapon feeling so good on this particular role. I was absolutely mapping people. And of course I was utilizing some pretty broken stuff, which we're going to get into in just a moment. Moment, but where it sits in terms of its kill range, yeah, you're talking like up to 22, maybe 23 meters if you're really stretching it without, of course, adding in certain shenanigans. There's a variety of ways to buff things, whether you're rocking Lordly Splendor, which we just recently reviewed, or in my case, I'm rocking Luna Faction boots with empowering rifts, which is why I'm able to map people from so far. It's quite nasty. But Snorri Base is really in line with the likes of Main Ingredient and Plug. It has slightly better stats in terms of range and stability, as well as handling. But for the most part, these weapons are very much in line with each other. But what makes Snorri special is despite Firmly Planet being nerfed, whether it's due to Amelon Fluid Dynamics or some other means, Snorri is such a good fusion rifle. It's so consistent, definitely putting it on par with even the godliest role main ingredients or plug ones. Now, the reason why I said this wasn't the god role is because it came with Liquid Coils. Liquid Coils does elevate our damage up, but also increases our charge time. Elevates that damage though to 41 damage per bolt, which is really not necessary. It's already going to require five bolts to get a kill at base but this just happened to be my role. Overall, even this not even being a five out of five gun role was still really good. I think I would have still preferred either particle repeater, which to me is still the full choke for fusion rifles, or of course, projection fuse for another bump there in range. Either one of those would have probably served me better. Now my thoughts on Snorri though, and how it actually stacks up, to me, it's the better 6v6 fusion rifle, especially with successful warm up. right? Just chaining those kills back to back is so easily done here. And Amelon Fluid Dynamics is easier to proc in 6v6 because there's just more readily available special ammo on the ground. Where its main ingredients, especially with under pressure now, and the fact that you can get scopes on main ingredients, I think this is the better option for things like 1v1s, rumble, 3v3, etc. Overall though, for what I got to use yesterday with Snorri and Firmly Planet, I think it's still very, very good. So before you completely write off your Firmly Planet God Rolls, give it a go, man. Always make sure you're crouched. Take advantage of that Amelon Fluid Dynamic as much as you can. Get successful warm-up procced and watch the kills change. Now for PVE, I do not have a role yet for PVE on Snorri, although it does have some fantastic options. You have Frenzy, you have Reservoir Burst, you have One for All. You also have interesting combinations like Reservoir Burst, Compulsive Reloader, with of course, Amelon Fluid Dynamics, where you can essentially almost insta reload after every single kill or every single shot with both Compulsive Reloader and Amelon Fluid Dynamics synergizing together. And of course, the likes of Stats for All and One for All together is a great combination, as well as successful warm 
him up still being a great option for PvE. Here's the thing, though. When it comes to Reservoir Bursts, and I know this is a void weapon, so a lot of people are like, yo, volatile rounds? I get it. I like it. But at the end of the day, the king of PvE fusion rifles for me is Glacial Chasm. Being a high impact, doing more damage per shot on that Reservoir Burst goes a much longer way than that on a precision frame. And that's simply because of the increase in damage tacked onto its archetype. We're talking an increase of 25% more damage with that AoE explosion that scales. On top of that, Glacial Chasm, which is one of my most used PvE weapons since I got it this past Christmas, which slide shot is so nasty. I don't have to reload because I literally just have to slide every single shot and have Reservoir Burst proc. Do I think Snorri is a great option? Yes. But if you have the role that I just mentioned here on Glacial Chasm, that's the role I would use, guys. Look now, I love everything here that Snorri has to offer. And again, if you don't have a Void Fusion Rifle and you want to take advantage of Volatile Rounds and Reservoir Bursts and Compulsive Reloader and Amelon Fluid Dynamics, by all means, do it. But I'd like to give you my honest thoughts here. And to me, Glacial Chasm in PvE is still the king. And Glacial Chasm is also a Void Weapon as well. Overall, fellas, try out Snorri today. We are essentially in a Fusion Rifle meta, which I know some of you probably aren't that surprised about it, considering you've probably been killed here recently by a Fusion Rifle. Snorri possesses a lot of great options. And if you're looking to get super nasty inside of PvP with it, fellas, crack out max recovery. Put on double utility kickstart. Apply this to Luna Faction boots and empowering rifts. Cast those rifts and be prepared to map anything that steps in front of you. My only suggestion, though, with Firmly Planet is no matter what, always be dropping down to crouch. And when you're coming out of a slide, just make sure you don't hit your sprint button. I know we have a tendency to hit the sprint button when we're coming out of a slide, as we're used to just kind of continuing with that momentum. You want to make sure when you slide around a corner, though, with a firmly planted fusion rifle to slide and let your ball sit on the ground. Literally line up the target and get the shot off. And there's something beautiful about Snorri. There were multiple times I got kills straight through walls. It has this like unique ability where it can still slap a shot onto a target, even through debris and still give you the kill. And at the end of the day, if you don't like sliding or if you don't like crouching, this weapon still has surplus, which is still a fantastic trait here, especially when you combine it with the likes of successful warm up. The only problem with surplus in this sandbox for me, guys, is I'm constantly using my abilities. My God, this game, even though it's a first person shooter, has gotten pretty ability heavy here recently. But if you're not using your abilities and if you're not throwing in a crouch, fellas, that surplus combo with successful warm up, give it a go. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank you.